Tubers, welcome back. So it's been a little bit of a while since I've shown everybody my DIY power wall. Um, just for the new kids on the block, that is 3,360 cells there. That is 30 kilowatt hours, give or take. And then over this way to the right uh, is the power shed, as I call it. So we've got another 1,120 odd cells in there. Some there, some underneath there. And we've got the bedroom up here. And we've got the two PIP 2424 HSs, I believe. Uh, HS MS. Okay, so they're MS. I keep saying they're HSs. And I've got the PCM60X there. I've got a disconnect up there for this battery bank and a 12 volt, or well, 40X 12 volt up there, which runs the fan up there, which is controlled by the bait room. And fans along the bottom, the bait room itself. And that's it. So what else was I going to do? I brought you down here for a reason. I want to redo this shed. I've got the opportunity to have plugged me in here shortly. Well, in a few weeks time, I think. So I was going to take the opportunity to redo this and make it a little bit neater. And all these cables have just sort of grown out of control and just been added to and added to. So what I was thinking about doing is moving. I don't want to touch any of the AC, so I can't touch any of these cables here. Um, so I want to actually move that inverter over by about an inch and then run all these cables. So have this splitter, it's just a splitter. So I have that one sort of up there somewhere. So I've got the power coming in from these cables over here into this side of the shed and then have a splitter up here and then have those ones coming around up to there and then have them turn around and then come down in between the two inverters. That's why I want to move it over a little bit and put, uh, what will I need? I'll need the shunt trip down in between and I'll need the Batrium uh, shunt in between as well. And then that way I can just loop the cables into there. And if I had that one down there, probably turn that, that one 90 degrees and have the cables come out there and come out there nice and neat and tidy. So I remove all this mess. I was thinking about removing the PCM60X and just bringing those power cables coming from solar out of there. I can just extend those out, run them back along and into that PIP inverter to simplify it all out. I'm not very good at doing cable management. My original Sparky did a lot of this and he, he's really busy now. He never longer works in the state, so he can't come and help me. I want to also, once I move that, it's going to give me a little bit more room here to put my 160 cell packs in here and then i want to put a, a a tv mount or a wall mount up there and then run the monitor up there because i'm going to have to cut this shelf sort of in half to actually fit the extra cells in so if any of you guys out there know a better way of laying out all these cables i'll try and give you a, a nice big pan shot from way back here so you can sort of see it all and just to reiterate i can't touch the 240 volt i can't i don't even want to go anywhere near it so do you think that's going to work running the cables down there or is there a better way the problem is i don't have a lot of this cable left and it is um it's only about 10 bucks a meter i think seven bucks a meter so i can go and grab some more if necessary but i really like to tidy all this up and do it a little bit better i'm thinking i probably need another one of these and replace that one so it's actually fused rather than just circuit breaker and maybe put that into a box I might be able to run that somewhere else. Make it make it nice and neat and tidy. Maybe something like Rowan's done with his boxes and put all the cables inside boxes and put the watchmon inside of boxes. That looks really neat. I'm a little bit, you know, it's a little bit hard because of the way my power, my 240 volt comes in here. And that's twin 10 millimeter cable coming from my circuit breaker into here and then back out to my circuit breaker again. And then hot water comes in up here through its own line, so. Anyway, troopers, that's a non-edit video. Let me know what you think. If you've got any questions about this setup, ask away. Uh, there's plenty of new people wanting to know what I do and all that sort of stuff. And take this opportunity to ask me any questions and I will answer them in the comments below. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.